Hi folks, Lily here. This video is part of a video series for you to watch with your child. In this video series, you'll learn how to put together an ingredient tasting to learn all about the different flavors and textures of the ingredients in a recipe. You'll also learn how to follow along with a recipe to make a healthy snack or meal together. If you aren't watching this video with your child, now is a great time to hit pause and go get them so you can watch the rest of this video together. Hi folks, Lily here with Spoons Across America and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making Choose Your Own Adventure Burgers. Now these burgers are super customizable, easy to make, and totally plant-based and gluten-free. In order to make them that way, we're going to use a couple fun ingredients that you might not have tried using before. First up, you want to start with your tasting plate, just like always. Once you've had a chance to taste, you can move on to the recipe. You want to read your recipe all the way through, so there's no surprises. Step one of our recipe is to turn on the oven to 400 degrees. All right. Next, you want to line a cookie sheet either with parchment paper or you can lightly grease it with olive oil. Then we're ready to start cooking. Today we're going to use an ingredient in our burgers called flaxseed. Now most burgers use eggs to hold everything together. But flaxseed is a plant-based, that means no animal products, um, ingredient that makes a thick mixture similar to an egg. And so you can use it to substitute for eggs in any recipe like burgers, or even cookies, cakes, or other recipes. All you have to do is add water to your flaxseed, mix, and let it sit. Here I have three tablespoons of flaxseed, and we're gonna add a third of a cup of water. We're gonna mix that right up. And then we're gonna put this to the side and let it get thick for just a few minutes. While that's thickening up, we're going to go ahead and move on to our other ingredients. First up, we have beans. I'm going to use black beans today. This is one 15 ounce can of beans, rinsed and drained. You're going to add them right into your bowl. Next, we're going to mash the beans. So you can use a fork for this, and you want to just mash them until everything is pretty much all smashed up. You can leave a couple chunks of beans. You can also do this in a food processor, which would be a little bit faster. Or, you can pass the bowl around and let everybody in the family have a go with fashion. It's kind of fun. Alright. My beans are nice and mashed. There's still a few little chunks of whole beans, but mainly it's a smooth puree. We're going to add in our other ingredients. First, we're going to add half of an onion, chopped into little pieces. This is a dice. Half a cup. We're going to add one cup of grated carrots. You can use a different vegetable as well here, peppers, sweet potatoes, whatever you like. We're going to add our flaxseed mixture. You can just give it a little mix. And it's gotten super thick, almost like an egg. Add that right in. If you don't have flaxseed mixture, um, flaxseed, you can just substitute for eggs if you have those instead. Next, we're going to add half a cup of ground oats. Now, I made these by just taking half a cup of oats and putting it in the blender and grinding it up, just like this. If you don't have oats, you can also use half a cup of breadcrumbs. Like I said, there's lots of ways to customize this recipe. Then we're going to go ahead and add some seasonings. We have one tablespoon of olive oil one teaspoon of salt, and then we're going to add some spices, one teaspoon of cumin, and one teaspoon of chili powder. And you can mix up those spices and use whatever you like as well. Finally, we're going to add a little bit of black pepper to taste. All right, all my ingredients are in the bowl. I'm going to give it a mix.
Alright, everything is all mixed up and we're ready to make our patties. You want to use clean hands for this and they can be even a little bit damp to help you. I like to just go ahead and divide up my patties in the bowl. So this is going to make eight burgers. I'm just going to divide it into eight chunks right here in my bowl so I know how much to make each patty out of. Just like a pizza here, I'm cutting it into like eight little slices. Alright, then you can use your hands to go ahead and grab some of that. And you can kind of roll it in a bowl and then flatten it out and put it right on your prepared cookie sheet. Just like that. We're going to do the same for the rest. All right, I'm going to wash off my hands. And these are ready for the oven. I have my eight little patties. We're going to stick it in our 400 degree oven for 20 minutes, and then we'll check. All right, it's been 20 minutes. We're going to take our burgers out and flip them over. You can have an adult help you take the pan out of the oven since it is hot. And then we're just going to use a thin spatula to flip each of the patties over. Alright, these go back in the oven for another 20 minutes or so until they're starting to get nice and brown on both sides. It's been another 20 minutes and the burger should be ready. Let's check. They look perfect. Nice and brown on top. You can serve these burgers on top of a bun with your favorite burger toppings or you can have them on top of a salad as well. You can also cook these burgers in a pan on the stove with a little bit of olive oil or you can partially bake them in the oven and then finish them up on the grill. There's so many ways to customize them. You can try different vegetables instead of carrots, different spices, or you can even try using a different type of bean for the base. They're so delicious and they're sure to be a family favorite all summer long. Thanks for joining me today in my kitchen and I'll see you again soon.